You're watching Let's Chat. Welcome back everyone. February is Black History Month and today we are learning more about how the 6th Cavalry Museum is celebrating the month and joining us now to tell us all about it is Molly Sampson. Hi Molly. Hi. Thank you for joining us and telling us about what's going on at the 6th Cavalry Museum. Tell us first of all what you all do. So the 6th Cavalry Museum tells the history of not only the 6th Cavalry, as evidenced by the name, um, but also of the Army Post that was here at Fort Oglethorpe from 1902 to 1946. So part of that we focus on the history of the Women's Army Corps because they trained here um, between 1943 and 1945. Um, but beyond that, our focus is also the history of the U.S. Army Post at Fort Oglethorpe, um, which opened in 1902 and closed in 1946. So because of that, we also get to focus on um, one of my special topics is the Women's Army Corps during World War II. Um, this was the second largest training center during World War II, 53,000 women trained here between 1943 and 1945. That is amazing. Let's talk a little bit about the 6888 documentary that folks can check out very soon. Yes, so the 6888 um, is actually the first Black Women's Army Corps unit to go overseas, but beyond that, they also had this amazing mission um, that they were given of clearing a two-year backlog of mail that had accumulated in Europe. Um, and this was mail that had gone undelivered for whatever reasons, whether it was um, addressed improperly or um, the recipient was missing in action. So they were given six months to clear this. They did it in three. And the documentary focuses on their story told through their own words and experiences. So we're being able to air that through UCTV on February 11th at 7 p.m. Um, so you can watch it on your television, Roku, or UCTV.com. Just to see some of these bags of mail, it's phenomenal what these women did in such a short amount of time. It is. It's very mind boggling um, how much they accomplished. Absolutely. Also, you're going to be having an exhibit at the museum. Tell us about that. Yes, so I'm really excited about this. This has been um, the focus since I started working at the museum last summer. Um, so our exhibit is going more in depth into the story of the 6888. Um, so beyond just what they accomplished overseas in Europe, uh, their story actually began here in Fort Oglethorpe. The first spot this unit all came together at one was at the Third WAC Training Center. They arrived in January 1945 and went through an intensive two-week overseas training. It was a secretive training. They were sequestered from everyone else, and it was to prepare them for life overseas um, in a war zone. Amazing. If folks would like to learn some more information about how they can check out the documentary or if they want to see the exhibit at the museum, how do they do that, Molly? Um, so the easiest way for the documentary information is to go on Facebook, uh, find us at Six Calvary Museum, and we have all the information there with all the channels you can watch it on, um, or you can visit our website, sixcavalrymuseum.org. Um, and everything will be listed there as well. We'll be doing a virtual exhibit opening. Um, part of it is uh, speakers. One of the producers from the documentary will be part of it. I'll be giving a curator's tour. That'll be um, available for online registration starting today. And then um, starting on February 26th, during our open hours, 10 to 4, Tuesday through Saturday, uh, the exhibit will be open for people to come visit in person. Such an amazing, amazing thing that these women did. Can't wait to check it out at the 6th Cavalry Museum. Thank you, Molly Sampson, Thank for you. coming on the broadcast today and telling us all about this. They truly made a difference right here in our community and around the world. All right, if you would like some more information on this interview and others, all you need to do is go check out our website at WDEF.com. And if you would like your um, organization to be featured on one of our segments, just email me at kblevins at WDEF.com.